What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about a new chase setup. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go. What's up guys? It's Jay. Welcome back to the channel where we're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new, consider subscribing. Also, comment down below what your thoughts on the video. So guys, like I was saying, a new chase setup. So as most of you know, Chase has just rebranded the Freedom Card as the Chase Freedom Flex. I'm a little salty, I'm not gonna lie, right? Now it's live, people can apply for it. Um, it's actually pretty impressive in, in my honest opinion. Now, the card is similar to the Freedom, 5% categories every quarter, obviously. And then on top of that, here's the kicker. When you sign up for the card for the first year, you get 5% cash back at grocery stores, excluding places like Target and Walmart. You can't do grocery shopping there. It has to be like a real grocery store, okay? 5% cash back up to $12,000. And then you get a $200 bonus for spending $500 in the first three months, which isn't bad. You could literally just put your monthly expenses on that card. For the first three months, more than likely it's going to add up way more than $500, okay? So it just makes it easier to hit that bonus and get that $200 back, right? And here is the other kicker, guys. The difference between the Freedom and the Freedom Flex is now you can get 3% at dining and delivery services. So like Uber Eats, DoorDash, obviously... Chase promotes a different delivery service, but they're still going to allow you to earn three points at dining restaurants, right? Um, now, that is pretty insane because for one reason and one reason only, and I think you guys might know where I'm going to be headed with this, it is because one of the main reasons why people like going with the Chase Sapphire Reserve is because you can get 3x on travel and 3x on dining, right they like that extra obviously there's other perks that come with the chase sapphire reserve but if you can get those cash back points and just hold on to the sapphire preferred then why feel the need to pay a 550 dollars annual fee for the chase sapphire reserve when you can easily capitalize on and get more cash back more earnings with the Chase Freedom Flex and just hold on to either the Chase uh, Inc. Business Preferred card or even the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Now, right now, the Chase Sapphire Preferred has a really good sign-up bonus. I have some affiliate links down below, so if you guys are interested, feel free to apply for a card using my link. It's definitely going to help out the channel. I really appreciate it. But anyways, it's got an 80,000-point sign-up bonus. Now, here is how you maximize your points, right? I had a question get brought up by one of my siblings, my older brother. He he uh, he texted me and was like, "Hey, what do you think about airline cards? Do you think I should go for the United Mileage Plus card?" And I gave my honest opinion. I told him, "No, probably shouldn't." Now, if you have the Mileage Plus card, you know I'm not hating on you or anything like that. I just don't think that it's a it's too valuable of a card like you might earn two points on dining and whatever but it's just honestly not enough you're not going to earn enough miles fast enough to be able to actually use those points on a flight and go somewhere now the easiest way i like is to earn ultimate rewards points through chase and then hold on to like i said one of those uh one of those preferred cards so like the ink business preferred or even the sapphire preferred and Transfer all your cash back points that you've earned from the Freedom Flex, the Freedom Unlimited, uh, the Ink Cash, uh, you know, things like that, Ink Unlimited. Uh, transfer all those points, you know, using the Ultimate Rewards portal, and then just transfer those points to United to go ahead and, you know, take your flight. Uh, it's a lot easier to earn those points rather than to earn uh the united miles on the card to be honest it would take a lot of spending actually to have to accumulate enough points to be even you know to even do that um unless you were consistently getting bonuses which is not likely right so guys what do you guys think about this setup honestly i feel like there's no need to have the uh freedom unlimited card anymore because why 
you're literally like this is like the card of all cards right now is the freedom flex and then like i said with the highest sign up bonus eighty thousand points for the chase sapphire preferred sure the point structure is not too great with it with the uh sapphire preferred but you're still making that up with the extra categories that they're allowing you to earn with the freedom flex so in my honest opinion guys in 2020 if you're going to up your game and you want to travel at least in 2021 um, i would honestly consider applying for the chase freedom flex card first right and then after that apply for a sapphire card but then you want to make sure you're getting those bonuses as well because those are going to actually help you uh you know travel a lot faster rather than just building off of your own spending you want to use your spending to your advantage uh it's probably going to be like a four thousand spend for the sapphire preferred to get that eighty thousand bonus but in all honesty you probably are going to have three months to do it i mean you can pay your rent you can pay your car note you can pay a lot of things that you pay on a regular basis and still end up spending that four thousand dollars so guys let me know what you guys think about this i think this is a great duo of cards we're not gonna go with trifectas right now we're going with the duos right now okay I think this is a great duo to have in your arsenal of cards because it's gonna allow you to travel a lot faster and allow you to accumulate points a lot faster than it would through any other setup obviously we are always waiting for those 5% categories to come out with the freedom you no longer have to do that you literally have those those other categories set in stone and to be honest <laughs> Getting 3x cash back is almost similar to getting 3x on dining with the American Express green card. And it's a no annual fee card. Can you imagine that, guys? That's crazy. You're getting 3x on travel. Well, I believe you're getting 3x on travel. It might be 5x on travel, but I believe it's through the Chase portal. I haven't really read up on the entire card. I've done just a quick um, overview of it. And it just looks like a really good card. Uh, unfortunately for me, I cannot apply for this card because I'm over 524. If you don't know what 524 is, basically, uh, if you've applied for more than five cards over, you know, the last 24 months, which is basically two years, um, then more than likely you're not going to get approved for any chase cards because, you know, they just don't like it when you've applied for too much credit within the last, you know, two years. Um, <clears throat> so I've obviously done that and I was happy about it. And then now I'm a little salty. That's why I said earlier, I'm a little salty about this because I'm not sure if they're just going to send me a freedom flex card or if I'm just going to have the freedom card. I hope they do that. That'd be awesome if they did. It's like, Hey, we're going to send you the freedom flex you can start earning like this. You don't have to worry about the freedom card anymore. Toss that up, cut it up, whatever. That would be great, right? And then, if that's the case, then there's really no need for me to hold on to my uh, American Express green card, which is going to be sad. But, yeah. So, so guys, down below in the comments, let me know what you guys think of that duo. Do you think it's a, a nice setup? Would you pick that over an American Express setup? Or would you go with another setup a lot of people you know they all have their own everybody's needs are different so um you know i'm just curious let me know down in the comments below guys and um yeah chase freedom flex again affiliate links down below apply if you don't either way it's all good i appreciate the uh viewership all right and that's going to conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if you found the information to be helpful give the video a thumbs up i really appreciate it share it with your friends and don't forget to comment down below guys all right uh yeah oh also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys don't miss a thing for whenever i drop my next video all right be a good person be safe be smart and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one Peace.